Hello, I am Arion. This is Book Sell It, and it occurred to me that I didn't do an official April TBR. So I have an official TBR as well as book reading options. Bruh! I've got some bruh. And it's snowing outside, and it's cold, and we actually turned on the heater. Because if you remember from a previous video, our electric bill was higher than it should have been so we have been babysitting it and watching to see why it's jumping so anyway let's dive into it so i'm going to start with this pile because i have already read mr penumbra's 24-hour bookstore i have already dnf'd this I have already DNF'd this. Oh, I'm sorry. So that was the guest book by Sarah Blake. This is the postmistress by Sarah Blake. And previous years, I used to give an author three strikes. This year, I'm giving an author two chances, and then they're done. I'm done. So Sarah Blake has failed. She's failed me. Anyway, and the secret history of the pink carnation I did not even get into because I had a gut instinct that this would be trashy and so I looked up some Goodreads um, reviews and yeah it's not a book that I would be interested in reading so three books unhauled right there so let's get into this <laughs> oh time out Okay, so the banned book read-along for April is Invisible Man. We are currently on chapters 11 through 15. So that's going on. And because I have so many books with the word book in the title, I am reading this. This is so good. And I know there was another one. Where is it? There's another one. I know how to read a book. And I left that on the breakfast table. And then I did my own spin, my own booktube spin, because Rick McDonald hasn't posted. He's doing something else for April, I guess. Well, that doesn't work for me. So... My spin was number 9 and number 19, so I have Roanoke, Solving the Mystery of the Lost Colony by Lee Miller. I have had this book for so long. Since 2002, I have had this book. And The Language of Solitude by Jan Philip Sintker. I've actually recently acquired this. And... Prometheus wants me, my dog is walking in circles trying to lay down. Why do dogs do that? <laughs> it's an OCD thing. I love you, Sadie. Okay, so Prometheus wants me to read this. And I stopped on chapter, what chapter was I on? Four. Chapter four? I made a joke that I was uh, probably on chapter, chapter two. But I'm on chapter four. That's where I stopped. I have a cute little bookmark that Prometheus made with Calvin on it. So that's on my list. And then all of these are books from the backlist read-along, read-a-thon with Lindsay at Lindsay's Little Library and uh, Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand. So I've chosen Storm Rack and Spindrift for a five-star prediction. White Doves at Morning by James Lee Burke for the cursive. And also this one, the script, has uh, Angry Housewives Eating Bonbons. I don't even know how long I've had this. this. This book is probably older than all of the other books. And this one for the Telemagenta color. And this one as well for the Telemagenta color. So Consequences by Penelope Lively and Tra Travels with My Aunt by Graham Greene. I got this book because my friend is 
an avid reader. Oh, it's a first edition. Oh, who knew? And um, she likes Graham Greene. However, I take her recommendations with a grain of salt. I love my I love my friend Tammy, but she loves all books. And so she recommends a book to me and I read it and then I say, yeah, but this was wrong and that and then this happened and that and blah and then and she says, oh, you're right. But I still liked it. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, um, so those are my selections for my TBR, but but I have uh, I have book reading options because when I receive a notification from Overdrive letting me know that a book that I have had on hold for a while be becomes available, I like to pick them up. So this, The House of Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne is one of those books. And so is Galileo's Daughters, Daughter. And this also became available on my Overdrive. So The Hemingses of Monticello by Annette Gordon Reed. I'm very curious about this because so much stock has been put into DNA, which is not 100%. It is suggested or recommended. So what I heard was that his cousin Randolph was most likely the father. So I'm really curious to read this. Really curious. And No Place to Hide. Um, no Place to Hide, Edward Snowden, the NSA, and the U.S. Surveillance State by Glenn Greenwald. And I've been wanting to read this. So I have a lot on my plate right now. And I have no idea what I'll get to, what I'll end up finishing. or what will end up on the floor <laughs> and passed on. So that's my official April TBR and book reading options. Thank you very much for joining me. Let me know what's going on in your world. Is it snow? What's the weather like for you? Because I know in California and Huntington Beach, it's been in the 90s in April. That's insane. And also let me know what book you're reading for April or what your plans are. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, this is an addendum because as I was organizing my books, I realized I goofed. Why were my books out of order? I have no idea, but they were. And I didn't even look until I grabbed the book to open it up to start reading. I can't start with this book. It's number three. What? Why were my books out of order? So this one, The Grasping Root, is book number two. The Keening. This is the book that I will be reading for April TBR for the Backlist Readathon. Again, why were my books out of order? So, addendum, this is the book that is on my TBR. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. And by recent, I mean probably 20, I know I didn't buy it new, so 20, between 2019 and 2020, I will have to Google it, no, Google it, I will have to check my videos and see exactly when I got it. Interesting. Okay. Now, I remember buying this in at the Barnes & Noble in Huntington Beach. Oh, I guess not. It says Book Attic. What? I don't remember buying this at Book Attic. Maybe I first saw it at Barnes & Noble, didn't buy it because of the expense, and then bought it at Book Attic. That sounds likely. We'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. Not for sure. I remember seeing it. Remember when you went up the escalator and then you turned to the right and they had that round table and then the desk? Do you remember that? 
Because up when you went upstairs and you went straight, they had the children's section. Okay.